Hello there, little one. Are you lost? Yeah, just, you know, lost in thought. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, I feel a little funny. Where, where did that little thing go? Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve. My name is Ar Oh, wait, over this way. Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the world of Nintendo Metroid. Take it away, Arnaz. Anytime now. Okay. No, don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> you said take it away. I did. You guys wouldn't believe it how much Steve paid for this. Oh my god, it was so expensive. $16.49. Which the main reason I picked up this lovely thing right here is because one, I really love the Metroid games, especially Super Metroid. Which Super I, Metroid 3. Super Metroid. Get it right. It's Metroid 3, 3 Super Metroid. There you go. He got it. Well, just because one came out for the Nintendo, then the Game Boy, which I actually don't think I've ever played the Game Boy one. I have played the Nintendo one. And I beat Super Metroid. Somebody needs to beat this guy with something. And I mainly just picked up this guy so that I can put this guy on top of my Nintendo with my Samus that's from the same company. So he can have the super herpes. Look at that. God, yeah, that thing looks sickly, but we'll get into that when we get into the figure. But without further ado, for the packaging... Pretty simplistic overall, we have the World of Nintendo on top. Nice concept image of the Metroid right there in the corner. Tells you where it's from on the bottom. Side of the packaging, exact same image, but just pretty enlarged. Other side, more clear plastic here with the World of Nintendo, so you can see the figure inside of the package, which, yeah, I've actually opened up this package, sadly. For the top, more World of Nintendo. For the back of the packaging, just tells you what this figure can do. It has articulated points. Metroid energy draining life form and some upside down legal mumbo jumbo. So let's get this thing open up out of its cardboard prison. All right, Ernest, I'm finally giving you that action figure you always wanted to review. All right, so I want to get this straight. You, you're giving this to me, right? To review. Oh, you sure? Yeah, maybe Christmas. I'll repackage it to you. You bastard. <laughs> what are we talking about? I paid sixteen ninety five for this. <laughs> no, no, what you gotta do is you gotta take a marker and just put one more. I paid $116 for this. I don't see what the problem is. You're welcome. <laughs> but anyways, for the figure. So now that this thing is out of its cardboard plastic slash box prison, Steve thinks this thing is hideous. I have no idea what he's talking about. This thing is sexy. I mean, this thing is amazing. I know it's got some lumps in there, but... You know what? This this looks just like Jenna Jameson. Okay, let's start with the back side. Oh, that's so weird, Steve. It looks just like the front side. No, it's not true. On the front, you have two lumps, and then the center one. On the back, you only have the one and the two are in the back. Difference. Also, what's kind of cool about this, too, is I really like the paint job in here, where it's this very nice blood red color. And it has like these little yellow pus bumps all over the place. Wait, wait. I thought I was doing this review. Get to it. All right. Well, from the front side, I'm assuming it's the front side because of these. Uh... Yeah, the little pinch, the yeah. little claws represent the front area. So, um, starting with the top, like Steve says, I really like the details inside. It looks like little pus thingies that can explode at any second if you poke them. But the really cool thing is, it looks like two eyes and a nose. Yeah. Looks kind of cool. It's kind of represented over the front. Yeah. And um, for the top right here, I like this because it's really rubbery and squishy. I feel like there should be some air coming out of it when you squeeze it, but don't. I yeah. don't feel any. So that's kind of cool. And from the bottom point of view. Oh. <laughs> looks like it's going <laughs> to This is really, really, I'm not going to say what it looks like. You it's, guys can imagine. So for the details on the claws, it's got this meaty section right here, and then which go straight into the tooth, I would say, area? Yeah, like? tooth talon. Yeah, because this is what she uses to suck your energy, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Gonna latch under your head. Yeah. So for like this back area of the tooth, it's got like these little grooves in it, which is, looks really kind of cool. It kind of gives it this more serrated look. Yeah, and the, the other one is exactly the same way. For the back ones, they are actually a little bigger. Well, actually a lot bigger and it's exactly the same thing which has got these little grooves in it and then on the bottom it's just i imagine that's where your energy gets kind of drained into right there yes yeah, steve just like that you exactly where your energy goes into i'm helping okay so for the articulations there isn't actually a lot it's just uh 
claws slash teeth that move, whatever they're called. And for the front ones, they just go front and back and do a little twisty. There you go, just like that. Looks kind of scary. <laughs> and the back ones, the same way. Just front and back and then go around. And then, there you go. Looks kind of weird now. And for some comparisons, here she's next to some other World of Nintendo figures. Samus and Samus in the Ball. Which, I never understood this. How does a human body turn into this? You don't fight this shit, just let it happen. Somebody explain that to me, please. And here's the Metroid next to some NECA action figures with the Burning Godzilla and Godzilla 2014. And here it is, some NECA Pacific Rim figures with Scunner and Hong Kong Bro Gypsy Danger. And I know I use these SH Monster Arts in another review, but whatever. We have the Gamera 1996 and Godzilla 2000 Millennium. So, overall, this figure is actually not that bad. I wouldn't mind having this, especially for what Steve paid $16. This actually looks fantastic. Even the creepy part at the bottom. It would look really amazing next to all my video games and the systems that I have, especially Nintendo ones. And that's what I want. So when I'm done with this, I'm running out of the door. <laughs> see how far I get. <laughs> yeah, I think it personally, I like it too, which I might actually repackage this, but we'll see. It's definitely more in the quality, I'd say, of a NECA action figure. But it's definitely one of the more impressive figures that I've seen out of the world of Nintendo line. But what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up the world of Nintendo Metroid? What's your favorite Metroid game or is Zelda just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. With a closer picture of this guy on Facebook, you want to click the link in the description below. Help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, before you press that button. Zelda is that guy with the sword, right, Steve? Definitely. Okay, sweet. Hey, hey, Steve, it's Friday the 13th, so... We're doing a scary review. Yeah, this is when we recorded it. <laughs> when it'll come out, I don't know, knowing Steve probably next month. Yeah, more than likely. It's an Arnaz review, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing this? I'm done. I'll see you later. <laughs>